Gentlemen, welcome to the final edition of GWA Supercharged before Clash of the Titans this Sunday. We're live from Seattle. I am Joe Davis. Thank you for joining us. We're going to start out with the action right away. The youngster, Justin Reed, stepping into the ring for one-on-one -on -one action here tonight against a man that will be challenging for the vacant United States Heavyweight Championship this Sunday. Talking about Sheik Amir, we're going to find out who Amir's opponent is going to be in that matchup a little bit later on tonight. But Amir is going to be in action himself before we get to that match. And his opponent from Tehran, Iran, weighing in at 296 pounds, Sheik Amir. Once again, Sheik Amir will be in a match for the vacant United States Heavyweight Championship this Sunday. His opponent will be determined later on tonight as Alexander Sokolov takes on Chris Van Diver. Sheik Amir won a number one contenders match some time ago for the United States Heavyweight title. The then champion, Owen Sherald Sexton, then vacated the title a couple of days after Amir won that match. He never got his shot the United States Heavyweight title. He will get that opportunity this Sunday. But in order to keep things fair, both of his potential opponents will be obviously competing tonight. So Amir will be competing tonight also to keep everything on a level playing field. So Sheik Amir to take on Justin Reed in our opening bout of Supercharged. There's the bell and we're underway. Reed coming out firing right from the get. Dragon Screw takes Amir to the mat. And now Justin Reed pummeling Sheik Amir. And Reed, Reed gets caught. He gets caught, Dragon Screw of his own. Justin Reed, the smaller the, uh, I don't want to say weaker, but uh, Amir is obviously the bigger and stronger of the two. So Reed is going to have to use his speed and agility to get it done here tonight. And Amir drops a heavy elbow into the Sturgeonum. One. Only a one this time for Sheik Amir. What a shot right on the side of the head. That could have knocked the young man right out, but Amir not letting up. What a shot to the face. And down with the boots. And another knee drop right in the face. Sheik Amir, vicious. No let up from this man. And what a slap in the face. It would to be, uh, it would be to me this company, one, two, and he got, he, no. I thought he got him there. But as I was getting ready to say, what a slap in the face to me, to this company, to all of you, everyone here in the arena tonight, to Americans in general. It would be for Sheik Amir to represent the United States as the United States Heavyweight Champion, a country that Amir himself has said that he absolutely despises. 
face first into the turnbuckle. And Reed, Justin Reed, it's like his face has exploded all over the front of him. He's bleeding like crazy here. Sheik Amir has opened this kid up and he is bleeding all over the place. Reed trying everything he can desperately to get back in this match, but a high drop kick by Amir sends him back to the mat. Sheik Amir. No, reversal by Reed. And Reed with an elbow strike. That looked like a forearm there, maybe. There's the, no, super kick block. Reversal by Sheik Amir. Had the super kick scouted. And now Amir has Justin Reed right where he wants him. Drop toe hold into the center of the ring and right to the camel clutch. And Reed has lost a lot of blood. He's wrenching, but yeah, he's got to give it up. There was no way Justin Reed was going to be able to get out of that one. He's been beaten to a pulp. He's going to need some medical assistance. Sheik Amir. What a display by Sheik Amir here tonight on Supercharged. He is gunning for the United States heavyweight title. There's no doubt about that. Sheik Amir with a, no, oh come on, look at this kid. He needs a hospital, he needs medical attention, and he just had his face bounced off the, the ring, Abraham. Sheik Amir, someone stop this man, for God's sake. My God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally getting Amir out of here, but again, this Sunday, Global Wrestling Alliance presents the Clash of the Titans. Now coming up a little bit later on tonight, we're going to have Mr. Amazing Ray Snyder taking on prime time Charles Thompson. We also have the women's world champion Tammy Mullins set to go one-on-one -on -one with the superstar Hallie Nolan. That's not all. Our main event to determine who is going to face Sheik Amir for the United States Heavyweight title, Alexander Sokolov takes on Chris Van Diver. But coming up next, tag team action in the women's division as the Iconics take on Whitney Duncan and Lacey Evans. The Australian duo of Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics, set for tag team action here tonight, looking for a opportunity to go after the GWA Women's World Tag Team Championship. Those titles currently held by the Dangerous Alliance of Amaya Stevens and Shelly Bennett. This women's tag team division has been very impressive since Gene Wells put it together several weeks ago. comes one of their opponents, Miss Whitney Duncan, and the Iconics, I will have to say, I, I would think have a little bit of an advantage over their opponents, Whitney Duncan and Lacey Evans. The Iconics have 
been a tag team for quite a long time. They have teamed all over the world. They've been very successful. Duncan and Evans, a makeshift tag team here tonight. They have teamed a couple times now, but they are not in any way a uh, full-on uh, traditional tag team. They have not been together very long. They have not teamed very many times. They uh, do not know each other in and out as the way the Iconics would. But here comes her partner. Here comes Lacey Evans, and I, I want to clarify that uh, I don't believe that this this is going to be an easy win for the Iconics. I don't even I'm not even saying that the Iconics are going to win this thing, even though Duncan and Evans are not uh, an official tag team. Duncan and Evans could pull out the victory here tonight, and. Perhaps we will see them join forces a lot more often. They could eventually go for the tag team titles themselves. Anything can happen here in the GWA right here on Supercharged. We're going to have Peyton Royce and Whitney Duncan starting things off for their teams. The bell sounds. We're underway. And lock up. Center of the ring. Duncan now hooks up Royce. And Royce with the reversal down across the back. And the German suplex to start things off for the Iconics. Peyton Royce now with control over Whitney Duncan. A couple open hand strikes there. Sent for the ride against the ropes and a tackle into the cover. One, two. Two count that time for Peyton Royce and one second away for the Iconics. A victory already in this matchup. Duncan face first into the corner. And now Duncan having a fight out of the Iconics corner. An elbow to Peyton Royce. Hooks her up. Twisting suplex. Perfectly done. Stiff kick right into the girts of Peyton Royce. And Duncan now is going to use that opportunity to make the tag. In comes Lacey Evans. And Roy's going to tag out. In comes Billy Kay, both of the fresh members of the teams. And lock up. And neither one of these ladies able to gain the advantage. And now uh, missing the forearm. Evans with a stiff kick. And immediately Evans going to tag right back out. In comes Duncan. And now Billy Kay went for that forearm again, cut off by Duncan. Elbows to the bread basket. And no, still couldn't hit that forearm. Billy Kay really going for it. Look at this. Backbreaker by Whitney Duncan. Duncan now sending Billy Kay face first into the canvas. Going for the cover here. One, two, no. Looks like barely, barely kicks out before two. Duncan now gets a right hand right into the girts. There, Billy Kay finally hits that forearm shot that she's been looking for. Whitney Duncan in trouble here. Uh, really in trouble now in the Iconics corner. Tag, and in comes Peyton Royce. And Royce and Billy Kay double team, sending Duncan for the ride. High elevation on the back body drop. Cover. One, two. And the official with a little bit of a slow count there, and also it took him a moment to get into position there. That could have been three. And now Royce with a few more shots. Headlock takeover. Wrenching on the head and neck, but finally Duncan able to get out of it. Split leg, leg drop by Peyton Royce. One, two, and a two count. Evans was there to break it up, but I think 
I think Duncan was able to kick out before Evans got there. And Evans over the top into the floor. Billy Kay right after her, leaving Peyton Royce and Whitney Duncan in the ring. Modified STO there by Peyton Royce. And again down with a split leg moonsault. There's a leg drop. One, two, and another two count for Peyton Royce. Excuse me, that was the split legged leg drop, uh, not the moonsault. And Royce now in control. Most of this match has been the Iconics. Look at that neck breaker. There's a cover. Still not able to get the victory. Whitney Duncan still fighting it. And missed the roundhouse kick. Whitney Duncan now grabs her by the back of the head and pulls her right down to the canvas. Whitney Duncan trying to get back in this thing. Duncan now with a top wrist lock. And Royce. Royce trying to fight out of it here. It's able to break the hold. And a tag. In comes Billy Kay. And Whitney Duncan did not take that opportunity to tag Lacey Evans. Fisherman suplex with a bridge. One, two, no. And now all four of these ladies in the ring. Evans now over the top into the floor again. Sent by Peyton Royce. Duncan sending Billy Kay over the top. And now Billy Kay's on the outside. Duncan's going after now all four of these ladies. On the outside of the ring. This match has completely broken down here. Stomping on the hand. Is Whitney Duncan, the official, has begun his count. The official up to three. Duncan sends Billy Kay into the steps. My goodness. I'm starting to get a little violent here amongst these ladies. And Fisherman Suplex on the floor. You've got to be kidding me. These ladies pulling out all the stops here tonight to gain the victory. There was a leg sweep by Billy Kay. A count of seven now by the official. And Billy Kay, once again, will take this opportunity to tag out. In comes Peyton Royce. Duncan in the ring. And twisting suplex into the cover. One, two, and broken up by Lacey Evans. Evans cut off by Billy Kay, once again tossed to the outside. Peyton Royce measuring Whitney Duncan, spinning heel kick by Peyton Royce. One, two, three, and a victory for the Iconics. Look at this, bam! Catches Whitney Duncan right in the face. That dims the lights and gains the victory for the Iconics. Here are your winners, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. A huge victory for the Australian duo of Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. The Iconics. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take you back to a few clips of something that happened last week. It was uh, it was kind of hard to watch, but Sergio Dondelinger challenged both members of the World Tag Team Champions, High Energy, to a match. He was going to take them both on at the same time and High Energy took full advantage of that. And they completely destroyed Sergio Dondelinger last week. Don Holmes wanted this to be finished between his team and Dondelinger. And I gotta say, I think High Energy 
Well, they certainly ended it, and they did it on their terms. Well, speaking of high energy, here comes Don Holmes with the rest of his team. Well, Don Holmes has definitely had some issues himself over the last couple of weeks. Um, in particular, dealing with uh, Charles Thompson. Thompson has recently fired Don Holmes as his manager. And it looks like uh, Don Holmes is uh, once again with his tag team, that of high energy, the world tag team champions. And as per usual, it looks like they have something to say. So we're gonna send it down to the ring and we're gonna listen in. like the fighting Irishman Sergio Dondelinger isn't quite finished with high energy and the homestead as of yet. Let's listen in to the fighting Irishman.
Well, how about that? You just heard it right there. A challenge, and it was accepted. At Clash of the Titans, the World Tag Team titles will be on the line as High Energy will defend against Sergio Dondelinger and a mystery partner. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Amazing Ray Snyder set to face off with Prime Time Charles Thompson. Mr. Amazing, Ray Snyder, the veteran, set for action, and uh, I get the feeling that this capacity crowd may not care either way who comes out victorious in this one. Uh, neither of these men um, have really endeared themselves to this crowd. They just might want to see both of them just beat the holy hell out of each other. I think they're going to see it also. Here comes the opponent. Thompson set for action for the first time since going out on his own. He has fired Don Holmes. He is once again solo. Neither one of these men win a popularity contest here, but this should be a battle nonetheless. Charles Thompson looking to return to his winning ways. But he's got a tough task with the veteran in Ray Snyder. Bell sounds were underway. Lock up center of the ring and Snyder already hooks up Thompson. Thompson up and wait a minute over. Waist lock, German suplex by Charles Thompson. The athleticism of Charles Thompson is off the page. I'll give him that. Scoop by Snyder. Reversal into the DDT, and so far, Charles Thompson has had an answer for everything that Ray Snyder has tried. Thompson now waiting for Snyder. Clubbing blow by Charles Thompson. And Thompson not letting up. Face first into the canvas goes Ray Snyder. And Thompson now going for the cover. Well, uh, no, not even a one. Don't count Ray Snyder out. He may be a snake. You have to watch everything about this man. But he's not going to give up easily. There's a knee strike right in the face by Charles Thompson. And Snyder now with the elbow into the Gertz. And gut wrench suplex perfectly executed by Mr. Amazing. Is a stomp right in the face. Nothing pretty about that. Went for the camel clutch with the foot underneath the bottom rope. A good call by our official there. And now, Snyder. Snyder now going for the cover. One, two, 
A two count for Ray Snyder. Snyder now hooks up Thompson, spikes him with a pile driver. One of the most dangerous maneuvers in all of professional wrestling. Could, could, uh, you could uh, severely injure someone's neck doing that. Snyder blocked. And Thompson now look at the strength of Charles Thompson with the windmill cutter. Charles Thompson, just like that, shuts down the momentum of Ray Snyder. And Thompson has Snyder right where he wants him. A kick right to the Gertz. And look at the strength of Thompson. Power bomb. One, two, three. An impressive, impressive victory for primetime Charles Thompson. The power bomb and the victory for Thompson right here tonight. Here is your winner, primetime Charles Thompson. Well, Charles Thompson begins his slow climb back up the ladder with a victory over Ray Snyder here tonight on Supercharged. Well, this Sunday, another match that we're all looking forward to at Clash of the Titans. The Women's World Championship will be on the line as the champion, Wild Thing, Tammy Mullins, defends against Indy Hartwell. But first, and coming up next, Tammy Mullins has some business to attend to here tonight as she goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the superstar, Hallie Nolan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Toluca Lake, California, the Global Wrestling The women's world champion, Tammy Mullins. Certainly has had an issue with Indy Hartwell since Hartwell became the number one contender. Hartwell trying to get involved with nearly every match that Tammy Mullins has had since that point. Let's we'll see if she'll keep her nose out of this one. Here comes the superstar, Hallie Nolan. And Hallie Nolan, just a week ago, due to the interference of Indy Hartwell, has a victory over the women's world champion, Tammy Mullins. And I'm sure Mullins is going to want to even that score right here tonight. And here we go, these ladies are ready. The bell sounds, and a chop by Nolan. Uh, wrenching of the arm, Mullins breaks that up. A couple of strikes by the champion. Sent for the ride into the corner. Big chop by Mullins, make that a double. Knee strike, and now look at this submission in the ropes. Not a legal submission maneuver, mind you, but just enough to get the damage done. Now Mullins with the suplex has hooked Nolan up, and look at this strength. We've seen this time and time again, and every time it is still impressive. Look at that with one arm. The women's world champion one, only a one that time for Tammy Mullins, but the champion showing off here to this capacity crowd. Mullins now with the sunset flip 
bomb. Tammy Mullins is a special kind of athlete. She can do it all. She has the strength. She has the uh, the agility. She has. Look at that setup, power bomb, one, and still only a one. A little frustration perhaps setting in for Mullins now. But again, she has the strength, the agility, the speed, the, just the technique. I mean, you name it, Tammy Mullins has got it all. And Nolan took an extra second to gloat and got caught with the spinning roundhouse kick right to the face. Mullins now with a couple more strikes. A block and Nolan now coming back. Kick right to the side of the head. And Nolan is trying to turn this thing around. Look at Hallie Nolan go, just unleashing on Tammy Mullins here. Another chop by Nolan and the jawbreaker. Nolan now with a stiff kick to the spine. Indy Hartwell has got to be loving this. Would love to see the women's world champion worn down before the championship match. Mullins with an elbow to the face. And then turns the neck breaker into the face buster. One, two, no. Hallie Nolan barely gets the shoulder up. And Tammy Mullins looking to put this one away. Headbutt. She grabs the arm into the overdrive and that will do it. One, two, three. Thanks for coming, Superstar. If Andy Hartwell wants any chance of winning the women's world title this Sunday, the overdrive is what she's gonna need to avoid. Nolan didn't do it tonight. And she came out on the losing end of this one. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait a second. There's, there's the music of Andy Hartwell and Mullins. Mullins is waiting on it. And it wait, oh, wait, 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 hold on, wait a, wait a damn second. Andy Hartwell with a blindside attack on the champion. You've got to be kidding me. Well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here on Supercharge to determine who's going to face off with Sheik Amir for the United States Heavyweight title. It's Alexander Sokolov against Chris Van Diver. ago a United States Heavyweight Championship tournament so to speak was put together and in the first round Alexander Sokolov defeated Big Bubba Mason to make it to this match now just one more victory will send him to the United States Heavyweight title match this Sunday at Clash of the Titans but he's gonna have to go through this man gentleman being driven down to the ring by his wife Lilith Van Diver this is Chris Van Diver a new look a a new attitude since returning 
And when he did return, it was in this tournament and in the first round, Chris Van Diver defeated Gavin Briggs to make it to this match. And now he's gonna have to go up against and attempt to defeat his rival, Alexander Sokolov. We know the matches that these two and these couples, as a matter of fact, have had in recent months. The bell sounds, this main event is underway and Chris Van Diver's coming out firing. He backs Sokolov up into the ropes and now wrenching at the right arm. Van Diver wants this win to not only get to the United States Heavyweight Championship match against Sheik Amir, but for retribution, for a little bit of payback on the Russians, Alexander and his wife, Maria Sokolov. Here's the cover by Chris, one. Yeah, a little, uh, little early for that. But Chris Van Diver's gotta give it a shot either way. Open hand strikes by Chris Van Diver. A couple more of them there as an insult to Alexander. And look at Van Diver go. Clubbing blow right to the top of the head. Chris Van Diver is feeling it. So far, this match been all Chris Van Diver. And now look at this. Exactly what... And Maria, we've seen this time and time again in matches between these two. Maria Sokolov with a distraction for Chris Van Diver and her husband, Alexander, is going to take advantage. Look at that. Tossing Chris Van Diver clear across the ring. The distraction once again play, uh, paying uh, dividends for Alexander Sokolov, double stop. Sokolov with another double stop. And Sokolov is now teeing off on Chris Van Diver. Scoop here and down face first into the top turnbuckle. One, two, three, no. Oh, that was close. That was close. But Chris Van Diver able to get the right shoulder up. Waiting for the double stop and Van Diver gets out of the way. Uh, get, grabs the beard and just open hand slaps. Sokolov right in the face. There's another clubbing blow. Chris Van Diver in control at the moment. Van Goddard! Van Goddard! And again, a distraction by Maria Sokolov allowing Alexander to get back to his feet and again scoops up Chris and tosses him. Chris Van Diver unable to capitalize on the Van Cutter once again thanks to Maria Sokolov. Look at this. And now Alexander punishing Chris Van Diver. Sokolov now goes for the cover. One, two, three, no. I, 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 I thought there for, for a split second that Alexander Sokolov was going to clash of the Titans. Van Diver with the reversal against the ropes. And now Chris Van Diver sends Sokolov for the run. No, he holds up. Look at, look at it. The Super Van Cutter. Super Van Cutter, and again, again, Maria Sokolov trying to distract Chris Van Diver, but now here's the cover. One, two, three, no, wait a second. Alexander Sokolov gets the shoulder up once again, thanks to the distraction of Maria Sokolov. It gave Alexander just enough time to catch his breath to kick out of that cover, and he's still in this match. There's the reversal by Sokolov. Short arm clothesline. And again, the Russian gladiator takes over in this high stakes match. One, 
two, and a two count for Alexander Sokolov. Drops the knee right in the spine. Sheik Amir has got to be loving this. He knows that both his uh, potential opponents are tearing each other apart here just a couple of days before the United States Heavyweight Championship match. And Sokolov, another reversal, buries the knee, and he's biting, he's biting Van Diver. And now, now Alexander Sokolov with the twist and Roger Suplex. He's gonna pull Chris Van Diver away from the ropes, and this is gonna do it. Alexander's going to Clash of the Titans, two, three, no, no, so close. Once again, Chris Van Diver kicks out. Went for the double stop, couldn't hit it. Chris Van Diver with Alexander Sokolov. Gonna send him to the ropes. Sokolov, huh? Wait, wait, Super Van Cutter yet again. Cover. One, two, three. Chris Van Diver is going to clash all the Titans to challenge for the United States Heavyweight title. Look at this. Are you kidding me? The elevation, the impact. My God, Chris Van Diver's going to clash of the Titans. Here is your winner, Chris Van Diver. A huge victory for Win it. Hold on, Sheik Amir. Sheik Amir's here. Again, he's getting right in the face of Chris Fitt. And wait a second. Wait just a damn minute. And after this war that he's had with Alexander Sokolov, now he's being assaulted by Sheik Amir. Uh, no, Van, uh, Lilith needs... Lilith needs to stay out of there, but we need to get some security out here or something. A drop kick right to the face. Sheik Amir is assaulting Chris Van Diver. Lilith, please. I don't know what the hell Maria's getting in there for. Well, I sure hope he's proud of himself. My God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we now know, at Clash of the Titans this Sunday, Sheik Amir will face off with Chris Van Diver to determine the brand new United States Heavyweight Champion. But that's not all. We know the Heavyweight Championship of the world will be on the line as the champion Arthur Caldwell defends against Owen Gerald Sexton. Now, wait a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be joined by Arthur Caldwell, the world's champion. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 238 pounds, the Global Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion. the heavyweight champion of the world, pretty boy Arthur Caldwell, looking to settle things with the number one contender this Sunday with a successful title defense against Owen Gerald Sexton, the self-proclaimed blueprint of professional wrestling. Let's go down to the ring, let's listen into the champ. second. Caldwell now being interrupted by the number one contender. And there he is.
Well, indeed, the time for talk is over. Things will be settled. It's the Clash of the Titans this Sunday. Don't miss it.